To be fair, I don't use many. I don't think I have any plugins still right now. Um, well, the way the way I did it. Guy. Well, the way I did it in my uh, in my toolkit is I created a meta package, mm. sort of a meta package, but basically it's install this 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 this, 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 this <laughs> basically all of them. So I added OBS and all the plugins that exist on FlatHub, mm. and then users are free to uninstall the ones they don't want to. Right, right, right. Uh, but yeah, there's at least 36 plugins currently on FlatHub. So when they install OBS using my toolkit, they're going to get get a complete OBS experience. They're going to have mm -hmm. the game capture with the uh, OBS VLK capture. They're going to get all the background removal plugins, the pipe wire plugins. And finally, and this is good news to a lot of content creators out there, mm -hmm. now you can capture uh, per application audio. They included that plugin for OBS. It's you part can, of OBS. Now. There are there are ways you could already do it. Um, you but you need to like make it Jack clients and stuff. But now it's as simple as just adding. It's right there. Application audio capture pipe wire. Okay. It's right there. That's good. It's been it's been in the works for the past four years. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, we can now capture per application audio, uh, and I do that. For tomorrow, I will do be doing that for tomorrow's live, or I'll be capturing. Uh, I don't know if it's copyright infringement, but Spotify's audio, mm -hmm. <laughs> because I'm I'm using Heller, Heller's audio. He's uh, he creates DMCA free uh, music, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it wouldn't be wrong. Uh, and I don't have ads because I have a premium account, so I'll be capturing Spotify. I just don't want to bother adding each audio track separately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just run capture Spotify's audio and you wouldn't I'll be the only the, the only person who streams like that. That's f like massive streamers do the yeah. same thing. Yeah. So at, at least we can now do that thanks to a plugin. Uh, thanks to uh, OBS developers finally embedding it in OBS mm -hmm. after four years of people complaining that the plugin no longer has a binary. <laughs> I I just looked at my so, OBS version. It looks like I'm at, I haven't updated my flat pack in a while. <laughs> I am a, well, a whole major version behind. You're on thirty dot zero. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I should update. Yeah. Well, I'll do that after. You are finish. on AMD. You shouldn't suffer. Uh, oh a lot no, of it's issues, fine. Yeah. But but for us Nvidia users, we need because you know how. The NVIDIA drivers, the uh, flatback drivers. I'm not talking about the system drivers, mm -hmm. the binaries. I'm talking about the flatback uh, uh, drivers. They get updated, but if OBS is not updated along with them, it will start, cease to launch. That actually can happen with the AMD drivers. It's this, The range seems to be a lot bigger, but I have had issues where it just forgets my AMD drivers exist. I can launch it. Uh, but when I start to record, it's like missing encoder or something like that. Yeah. So uh, we we content creators rely on flatbacks uh, on uh, OBS so much. A minor hiccup mm -hmm. sends uh, well, at least it sends me into a young boy's tantrum. <laughs> I throw a fit, and I'm like, oh shit! OBS is not working. There goes my day. There goes. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not like making thousands of dollars on YouTube, so I shouldn't care that much. Mm -hmm. I barely make seven bucks. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, you shouldn't throw a tantrum. But it gets that, that way sometimes with uh, OBS because we rely mm -hmm. on it so much. Yeah. Well, I was in the but middle of... Anyway. When, I, when, I, when I found the issue I was talking about earlier, I, I just stopped, basically stopped my stream in the middle of it. And I... Started just bringing up the um, system D logs for Pipeway. Like, you know what? We're going to debug this right now on stream. I'm going to work it out and we'll report it afterwards. Yeah, which brings me to a question. Mm. When are we going to see you do all the mistakes on stream? What do you mean? You, 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 you posted about it on Mastodon. You were like, should I record all my errors and all my mistakes? And leave them up oh, there. Oh, re like, yeah. Record a um, record a video and just don't edit anything. I don't know. I'll, yeah. I'll up I might upload that for like next April Fools or something. I don't know. I'll do it at some point. It will have to be like a one-off thing. 
Because when I record a video, it takes me about an hour. I am really bad at speaking. Takes you only an hour? I've Look, I, I've spent three years doing this, so I've got some ability to talk a, a little bit, but... Uh it, I, takes, so, it takes me. I I also um I also note things out beforehand, so I have an idea of what I'm going to say. It's just I am terrible at reading things when I'm talking. You're not the only one. People did recommend me to do highlights and to know what I'm talking, what I need. To yeah, talk I about, I wouldn't say go as... full script, but just like have a general. Set no, of no, no, points. just highlights. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. highlights, just, just bullet keep on points. Track, yeah. I did that. I said more ahs and ums than I ever did. Right, right. It's something you got to get used to. Yeah, I, I can never, I could never read a, a bullet point and then turn back to the camera and talk. I'm like, okay, I need to talk about that. Yeah. I start talking about it and then I lose my trail of thought immediately right, because right. I, uh, in my head, I need to get to the next bullet point and the next one and the next one and the next one. Right. So Again, I this is gave up all that. This is something I've, I've spent multiple years getting better at. When I first started doing it, it was a mess. I was very much the same way. But now that I've done that for don't ask me how many videos it's something i'm a lot more used to doing now and i still you can still like tell when i'm looking at one or the other but my flow is a lot less jumpy it's a lot better because it keeps me hooked from beginning to end i never skip through your video well, a lot I of never the... skip through your videos. So I, my, my videos have gotten more scripted as I've gotten further, but a lot of the things you hear are very much off the cuff. Like I will see what's written there. So I, I usually do the all of the planning one day and then do the video like the recording another day. So I will read what I've got written there and I think I don't know what the hell you are talking about. Why did you write that? And then I just basically update it as I go.